<laughs> Why do you think Romico will meet with us the Reagan Well, he said that's the Russian. Photo opportunity. That's why Romico is coming. Long last for all those in due time. What time do you think the president has been conciliatory enough for the Soviets? <laughs> well, good luck in your new job, Lord King. <laughs> it turns out better than the last. Well, I mean, they came out here. I was excited. <laughs> I think Caterpillar has something to do with farming. Well, I see it, absolutely. <laughs> Excuse me very much. I wasn't getting any undue influence. But <laughs> uh, maybe maybe no, some I, of you don't I, know I that. I lost him as a constituent. Before you get started, look at your table radio. Oh, yeah, he's got that. Yeah. How you like that? Then I met well, listen, I'm very happy to welcome all of you back. And uh, as I'm very happy to welcome all of you back, and I'm looking forward to discussing some important farm issues with you. But first, let me share some news with you for America's farm community. Consistent with the loan that the Soviets can increase by 10 million metric tons their purchase of wheat and or corn for shipment during the second year of the agreement. And the ceiling for the second year of agreement is being raised to 22 million metric tons. And I've said many times, our philosophy is against the unfair and the wrong-headed policies of grain embargoes, and we're going to continue to do everything we can to strengthen markets for America's farmers. They're the most productive people, I think, on the face of the earth. So, I just thought that you'd like to have that, that news. Thank you very much. 